Coming to you live from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, it's the Dallas Mavericks and Germany. Hi, everybody. My dog along with Steve Kirk. All right, Steve, what's the game plan for the Germans? Marv, the task tonight is to try to match up with Dirk Nowitzki, who is really a dynamic player at that forward position. Seven feet tall, shoots threes, can take you down on the block. I think you've got to put speed on him, guard him with a smaller player, and then if he does post up, you send a double team. Starting at forward, number 41, Dirk Nowitzki. All right, we are underway. Kick looking for the three. Boy, we've seen him make that shot so often from that spot. That, that's one of the areas on the floor that he just loves. Even with the defense all over him, he's able to drain it. Green to the front court. And gets the friendly roll. Very difficult attempt there, Mar, but he gets the ball to go in. He fires from downtown. Well, as a coach, I mean, that's what you want. You want to get players in areas where they're comfortable and you know, guys that talented and that good, they're going to make a high percentage of those shots. Little change in strategy here, Marv. Defense now in his own. With the block. Marv, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. They just didn't make the basket. Green takes to the rim. Marv, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you've got to come away with some points. Hooker gets it right back. The jumper is off the mark. Rebound by Nowitzki. He can make that one in his sleep, Marvin. That, that's his comfort zone, and I don't care what you do defensively. If he gets in that spot, he's going to make that nine times out of ten. Hunter fires one up. And rebounded by Marion. Well, not great defense, Marvin. They let the penetrator get all the way to the rim, but they do contest the shot, and I think that forced the miss. Marv, how about the speed of this club getting up and down the court so quickly? For three, Herber on the rebound. Yes! Looks like they're going to switch from a man-to-man to, -man to a zone, Marv, trying to disrupt the offense. And gets the friendly roll. on the quick release and a timeout is called <laughs> looks like they're in a zone now Marv trying to cover up that paint area Kid on the hop, and he gets the friendly roll. Steve, at his height, that's an impossible shot to block. Yeah, Marv, particularly the way Nowitzki releases the ball so high. Being seven feet tall, the high release, the, the turnaround, there's no way you can challenge that shot. Kid looking for the open man. And Sean Marion showing the outside touch. Steve, I would have to say that Sean Marion has one of the most unusual releases in the history of the NBA. Well, I think that's fair to say, Marvin. I think it's also one of the reasons he's a little inconsistent with the shot. The right elbow really flares out and kind of shoots a little shot put from his forehead, but he can get it going at times. The first quarter is the books. The Germans lead by one.
Wow, look at that assist to field goal ratio. That's exactly what coaches want to see. So both clubs have played solid basketball. Oh, you're right, Mark. The offensive execution has been terrific. Both teams getting out in transition. They're moving the ball. They're really setting solid screens. And we're seeing a lot of wide open looks out here. Pretty entertaining first quarter. And an opportunity for three. Hollins able to rescue. And Ryan Hollins throws the layup. And the bucket. Mark, offensive rebounding is about quickness and anticipation. It's a terrific play there. Two and a half minutes remain in the quarter. Germany up by two. It looks like they're going to switch into a zone, Mark. They've been playing man-to-man -man most of the way, but this... Setting up for the three. They're going to switch up from a zone to man-to-man -man here, Marv. Try to disrupt the offense. Hollins to the rim. That was a three-point attempt. Great defensive possession there, Marv. Everybody challenging their man. Here's Marion. Well, close game here early on, so this club trying to force the issue, get out and get some easy buckets. Kruger open for three. Here come the Mavericks. And the field goal. Our great defense at one end is going to lead to good shots at the other end. Certainly the case there. And they clear it out. Not able to hit the three. Gary on the follow. Boy, you hate to give up second chance opportunities like that when you're trailing, Marv. Here's Howard. And that is an offensive foul. They've switched up from man to zone, Marv, trying to disrupt this offense. Mephisky fires. What great defense. Everybody active and alert, helping each other out. That's what wins ballgames, Marv. And scores. That's a 9-0 run for the Germans. They've got to take a timeout here, Marv, and find some rhythm to their game. They are completely stymied at this point. Howard kicks it back out. Delivery to Howard. Here's the double. Open opportunity. The Mavs control. Well at the half, the Germans lead by eight. Germans with the lead as we head to the second half. Steve, what concerns do they have? Well, I don't know if they really established an offensive rhythm in the first half, Marv. They were a little bit lethargic. I think they need to be more active, especially defensively, as this second half gets underway. Off the mark. 
Here come the Mavericks. Howard with a nice pass. Open shot. Nowitzki, they able to hustle it down. Well, they did a nice job offensively, Marv, but they just did not finish the play. And Dirk Nowitzki got the roll. Marv, we saw them run the lanes, get out into the open floor, and create an easy basket, and that's critical in a close game. Howard rebounds. And again, Dallas on the run. Marion setting up down low. Well, he had numbers in transition. I thought he could have gotten a layup and really settled for a poor shot. Kidd now running the offense. The Germans will get it back. Very careless turnover there, Marv. No reason for that. The Germans clear it out. He fires from downtown. Well, to try to cut into this lead, Marv, they're going to go zone. They switched up from the man-to-man. -man. Nowitzki with the shot. They clear it out. And gets the friendly roll. Once again, poor defense, Marv. Leads to the easy hoop. They've got to tighten things up here. Well, trailing in this game, Marv, they've got to do something better defensively. They're going to try a zone here. Van Peer on the rebound. Well, you've got to continue to pound the offensive boards, give the effort, the energy. You never know. Eventually, maybe that ball is going to fall into the hoop. Kid able to extend. Well, that's what you have to do to try to get back into the ball game, Marv. Get some easy baskets in transition. Shoots the three. Handled by Howard. Well, they're not happy with the man-to-man, -man, Marv. They're going to switch into a zone here defensively. Marv, I can't believe he pulled up and took that shot. He could have had a much easier attempt at the basket. For the block shot. Accelerates. Five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Down to 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Germany up by six. The Mavs will get it back. 
Changing defense is, is an important way of disrupting the flow of the offense, Marv. They're going to go back to a man here. Delivery to Howard. For three, the jumper is off the mark. So after three, the Germans lead by six. Steve, as we head to the fourth quarter, the question is, can any team here make a stop? Well, it's been a great game, Marv. High scoring, and neither team has been able to pull away from the other. So I'm looking for stops. I mean, can either team play defense? Can they start making better closeouts, better rotations, and maybe limit some of these transition hoops we've seen? And they clear it out. Yes. Well, Marv, any time you're in a close game in the second half, if you can get easy points, you've got to go for it. Nice job there in transition. Kid looking for the open man. Not able to hit the three. Here come the Germans. There's the pick. That's his first miss of the night. Mark, poor execution on that screen and roll. They settle for a long jumper. Really didn't create much space. Dallas cannot find a shot. Dallas can't find anything. And Jason Kidd off the mark. head to the line. Marv, this is how you protect a lead in the fourth quarter. Get your best free throw shooters to the line. And he makes them both. And again, Dallas on the run. Here's Novitsky. Here come the Germans. Here comes the screen. Oh, that is beautifully executed. Beautiful transition basketball. The nice outlet leading to the numbers at the other end. That's how this team has built this lead. from downtown a wide open shot changing defense is Marv so important it looks like they're going to go to a zone here that's good solid defense there Marv very aggressive off the mark rebound by Dampier Marv that's a good shot if you're going for the scoring championship but not a good one if you're trying to win a game The Germans clear it out. Well, I like the timeout call, Marv. You might not win the game, but at least try to finish strong, show some guts, show some character, and try to at least cut this lead down, maybe carry some momentum into the next game. Herber comes across. The jumper is off the mark. Howard pushing it. Well, the zone was not working, Mark. Too many easy shots. They're going to go back to the man. Down to 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Germany up by 11. And gets the friendly roll. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Germany up by 13. Howard getting position. Shot clock is down to six. Howard got it down low. The 
There's the final buzzer. The Germans have won it. The final score is 45 to 32. Marv Abdelhamid, Steve Kerr from the American Airlines Center. Thanks for tuning in.